noises, like we've all seen them before. You start here, follow the paths, and then you get here. All good? Okay. So I made Amazing Minecraft, and here it is. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Oh wait, I also made this. All you do is you place an iron block for the beginning, place a gold block for the end, and then you put paths in the middle made of quartz. I already made one, so I'm just going to use that. Okay, so here's a really cool thing. This button here finds the path from the iron block to the gold block. You just click it, wait a few seconds, a few seconds, and boom, it's done. Now all you need to know is how this works. So first of all, this command block clones your maze down to this level. This is useful for finding the start and end points. Next, this command block fills this level with more command blocks. Each of these contains the same command, and that command clones this pillar here across to it. This command block then replaces the iron block at this level with a redstone block. This means that this pillar is cloned over here to the start position. Next, all of the quartz blocks at this level are turned to stone. The reason for this will become apparent later. Then, all of these command blocks are executed. These clone the maze from the top level down to this level, replaces the gold and iron to quartz, and then down at this level, the gold block is replaced to redstone blocks. Remember this for later, it will become important. Now the maze will start solving itself. The key to this is these command blocks here. These command blocks detect when there is a quartz block on this level, one block away from it, then it executes one of these four command blocks depending on the direction. These command blocks will clone the pillar over in that direction, and then these command blocks here will copy one of the command blocks over here, once again depending on the direction, down to the bottom. This is so that when the command block on the bottom is powered, it will power the command block at the bottom of the chain before it, and then before that, and so on. Also, whenever a new pillar is cloned, these command blocks here will power. This one tests for a quartz block down at this level, and then if there is a quartz block, this command block here will copy this level one up. This happens for many reasons. The main reason is so that we are not left with a quartz block here. If we were, then this pillar here would keep trying to clone itself back to that position. This would cause lag, even for a 17x17 17 17 grid. The next reason for this is because we need to know when we reach the end. If you remember, at this level, at the end, there is a redstone block. This means that when this pillar has found the end, it will clone the redstone block up and activate its bottom command block. This will unactivate the one before it, and then the one before it, and so on, and leaving a redstone block trail. Finally, we get back to the start. Due to this one being directly cloned from over here, I can set this command block here to whatever I want. So I've made it execute these command blocks here. These just do a little bit of cleaning up. First of all, it gets rid of all this mess here. Then it replaces the redstone blocks here with cyan stained clay, and then it sets the stone here to quartz. Then it copies this result up to the top and clears out these two layers. And that's it, it's done. Oh, also this layer here is just where the maze is stored when you hit these two buttons. So yeah, there's a world download in the description. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then maybe you should click that like button. And if you want to see more stuff like this, then you can click this button right here. Anyways, that's all I got to show at the moment. I'll catch you later.